Okay, now we're going to spin you around a couple times, and you just hold on to this gun, okay? All right, and then, uh, and then I'm going to have you aim it. We're not going to put our finger on the trigger. We're not going to cock it, okay? So nobody really has to worry. And we're going to spin you a couple more times. And let's do it one more time here. Okay, now you just point at that target wherever you think that that is. And then freeze when you've got it. Okay, hold on right there. Okay, boy, this guy's looking pretty uh, a little worried here. Good job. Hey, thanks very much. You can sit down. All right, what is the key to hitting a target? You gotta see it. Yeah, you gotta see it. You gotta keep your eye on it. You gotta aim. So aiming, if you're on the outline there, aiming is key to hitting a target. The same principle applies to teaching our kids. The question is this: What are we aiming at? What are we really aiming at? We want our kids to have all these great things. We want this for the next generation that they would, you know, have great character and be men and women of integrity and to love God. But unless we plan to deliberately transfer that truth to them, unless we aim at that, our target, our aiming is likely to be off. Normally you do this with a pumpkin in season. You can do it with a bucket. Just If you heat it up a little bit, if you've got a heat gun, you can cut through it like butter. But a pumpkin's a nice way to go. Now, I've got this little bit of solution right here. Just a little bit. Let's add that. And so, we're going to put the lid on, and as we watch this, that little bit of solution in there is going to expand, okay? And it's going to gush out. It creates all this foam. Yeah, and, and there's all kinds of steam that comes out. It's very neat, very effective. The first time I did this, I just, I did it in the backyard, and I was just laughing. I thought this was so great. Okay, now, you can teach a number of things with this. Honesty is a huge one. Honesty, hey, you know what? Just a little bit of dishonesty, a little bit of lying. And guess what's going to happen, guys? A whole lot more is going to gush out to follow. That's what happens when you break that... That sacred line of integrity and you go to dishonesty, a whole lot more is going to follow. That's just the way it works. This is the very question the devil uses to turn kids away from God. How can a loving God blah, 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 blah. Okay? There's several reasons why bad things happen to good people. We're going to talk about one. You know, you get a light stick and it looks good in its packaging, doesn't it? It's made to sell. Sit in that pegboard. But if I don't take it out of here, it'll probably never do what it was manufactured to do, right? Okay, so guys, we know how to work a light stick, right? You've got the plastic tube here, one chemical inside, there's a little glass vial with another chemical. In order to make it work, and so guys, let's do it, you have to bend that tube far enough to break that glass vial inside. You bend it, you break it, you shake it up, the two meet, and you've got this chemical reaction. <clears throat> now you do this with the kids. And you do it, and now you go dark. You say, you know what? This is like life. Because there are times in life that we, as Christians, can be like this package. You know, we look good. We're all together. But we're probably not accomplishing nearly what God wants us to accomplish in life. And sometimes He bends us and He breaks us. And He shakes up our world. And something changes inside us. Something changes in our heart. And it's then that God shines through us in a way that He never could before. It's then that we can be a light to other people like we never could before. Why do bad things happen to good people? Several reasons, and this is one. Now, we're going to have this race. What I want you two guys to do is, is you're going to unroll this toilet paper. You're going to go as fast as you can, all right? The idea is to beat us. Now, you can go like this, but see when I ripped it? Three rips and just stop. Then you're done, okay? All right, so you've got this. Now, Caleb? Perfect after Stu Weber's message, right? All right, now, Caleb, you and I are going to do a little bit different. We're going to have two rolls to undo, but we're going to do it differently. You guys go ahead. You get a head start. All right? So, now, you and I are going to do it a little bit different. Okay? So you hold on to this. All right. I'm going to be your loader. <laughs> now, you have, to hold it on a, you have to hold it on a little angle here. Okay? Hold it on a little angle because it will fall off. Okay, now I'll just turn that on and... 
the crowd if you want. All right. Good. Let's do another. How are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, on we go. All right, go, Jill. Oh. All right. Excellent. You guys can sit down. That's wonderful. Let me just... They got the idea. Yeah, I think they got the idea. Excellent. Now, to make one of these... All I'm doing is taking a uh, leaf blower with an oval opening. All right, you want the oval opening, it makes a nice air knife. We're taking a little small paint roller, get the best one you can, a good roller. All right, right there. And now if it's curved, you just take a file and file it right there just a little bit, so it, and then just bolt it through. And you can still use your leaf blower. And you get the most powerful one you can because this is spiritual. Okay? All right. Now, what's the lesson we want to teach with this? Were these guys working any, could they have worked any harder? They were working hard, trying not to mess up. Truth is this, it's the way most of us men go through life. We're working hard. We're trying not to mess up, and now here I am laying all this stuff on you. Hey, you gotta teach your kids. How can I do anything more? Then all of a sudden, Caleb and I come along with a whole different way to do it, and it blows them away. Truth is this, it's not about us working harder. It's about the Holy Spirit working in our life. Flowing through us, changing us in ways, helping us do things we could have never done on our own. That's the Christian walk. That is what Christian men are about. And we can encourage our kids the same way. Can you all do this? Yes. Yes, you can.